So, what if you don't win the competition? What will you do? If I don't win the competition, doesn't mean I must stop what I'm doing. If I win, fine. If I don't win, it's a competition. It's a lose or a win game. Contestant number four. How far? Kulo. So Kulo. What's your name? I'm um, by the name Edutiophilia. Edutiophilia? Exactly. Amazing. You were from one girl? No, I'm from three. From three? Who do you can't know now? No <laughs> weapon. When I got here, I got to understand that um, your school is going to have its maiden edition of a pageantry. Sure. And then you are part of those contestants. Exactly. Sister, why? <laughs> I have a lot of reasons though, but coming to Abbas, I came up, I came to Abbas for a main purpose. Abbas, Abbas is what? A baby about to me I taking care of school. Even though we all students came here for academic... Are you a Bosarian? No, I'm not. Even though we all came here for academic excellence, but I still have a reason for coming here. You still have a reason? Sure. Aside coming to learn, you have a reason. You are a queen, right? Okay. You are a queen. the reason okay so back in the days I mean when I was in my JHS there was this time when I went to my sis and I was like I'm just thinking about the school I'm going to am I going to a first class school I mean an, an A or a B school she was like it doesn't matter the school you are going to what really matters is what you are going to get from the school and the impact you are going to make in that very school amazing and I was like oh okay then tell me more so that was when I came to hear about Aveme Batos in the So you say you have another motive of coming. What is the motive? I want okay. to know. At least leaving a legacy before going is what I want to do. You want to leave a legacy? Exactly. What legacy is that? I want to help students express themselves wherever they find themselves. How is, it, how is the expression of students here like? Very, very poor. Before, but now it's a little bit okay. How As did it become before, okay? Through my efforts and other efforts of other students. Your efforts? Exactly. What have you done so far? Okay, so I in person have helped students to express themselves mm. using English. Students go about on campus speaking any kind of language they want to speak. Because of the locality we are in, where we have the Dangbe's and then the Ewe's, the only language on campus is either Ewe or Dangbe. They don't speak English. Students don't even is know it how all to express. The, all the, all the students or some I mean, or majority? About majority, about 90% of the students don't know how to speak. They like I mean, to speak the local exactly, language. Exactly, because they feel as if it's, this is their land. land. So this is their origin. This is the language they are supposed to speak. But one thing you need to know is, since you are in an institution, you are supposed to speak a language where everyone is going to understand. What about we, we the ones who are Akans and other tribes? How are we going to cope? Sister, tell me, are you jealous? Are you able to speak the, the Ewe language? No, I'm not able to speak it, but I can speak Dangbe. So, I understand so, the So here, here is Walter Region. Because sure. you are not able to speak their language and they are speaking it, you are jealous of them. If I was jealous, I wouldn't have been here in the first place. I would have gone to my hometown. I also have a school in my hometown. I would have been there, but here I am. You speak a way. Mm. This is your local languages at home. And you want to speak these same languages in school? Amazing. How will you improve when visitors come to school? How are you going to even express yourself to them? Awesome. What if those people can help you? How are you able to interact with them? Also. So it's very much important that students learn how to express themselves. So to you, once it's their mother tongue and they can speak it at the house, when mm -hmm. they come here, they should switch to English. Exactly. Because when I got to the town, I was trying to say things to people and they were like, what are you saying? Sorry and for I, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah because <laughs> I, they were speaking the, yeah. uh, their way to me and I couldn't it's get only, it. And, it's only one one. But when they figured it out that I'm, I'm unable to speak the language, they switched to the English. So a whole lot of people can speak there. But they don't speak it. That's the problem. 
I like the Voltarians a lot because almost everything that they do, there is a bit of their culture embedded in, into it. I don't know, it's, it, it's like a major concern to her. It's a, it's a very serious issue to her. To her. She wants to trash it out. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to make sure that she has, she has changed the thing before she leaves the school. I want to ask this. Have you had the opportunity to be in a school league before? Like your school going somewhere to have a league? Yeah, like, we've been to places before. Now, okay. Now, the rest of the schools that come for the league, do they also speak their Ewe language or they. Because is it a common thing among the schools in Volta region or just in your school? I can't tell for other students in their schools though. But immediately we go for inter schools and other staffs, the language is still the same. Eh. So when they see you, they think you can speak their Ewe language. So they talked so in that. Thing. Unless you are let them, young man, young lady, I can't I don't understand what you are saying. Mm. That is when they might speak English to you. And if you can answer, you answer. If you think the language is good for you, then you just answer with the language. So you are in this school not just for the academic excellence, okay. but to to change the status quo, to make the student speak the English language. Sure. Drop the drop the, the, their home language exactly. and then focus on the English language. Yeah. Coming to this school, I didn't know it would be that easy. And even though it hasn't been easy, but I know it's easy. I know it has been easy all this while. Because starting from Form 1, I was able to influence some seniors in Form 2. And then some also in Form 3. And then they got to think about it and they were like, yeah, you have a vital point. What is this beauty pageant going to do for you? Okay. I want to know. Someone who ask, why do I choose the beauty pageant? I mean, a lot of people were like, I should go in for the GP. I mean, the head school, but I was like, no. I was waiting for such a thing like this, where I would have a higher position than the head student. So the, the beauty pageant is the position higher than the... Sure, I am the queen. When I win, I'm going to be the queen of the school. Where I'll get a chance to see the headmaster face to face. But the head prefers also get a chance to see head face to face. It's true, some people. Eh? Yes. But you, when you become the queen, you can meet head face to face. Yes, I can book a time with him and see him. And then you will start your agenda from there. The agenda has already started. <laughs> Way back Amazing. in form one, it has already started. I'm here, to, I'm here to leave a big legacy before leaving Abbas. The event that is coming up tomorrow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is going to go into the event? It's it's a beauty contest. So what yeah. is it consists of? What are you going to dance? Are you going to rap? No, are you yeah, going I just, to I just do quiz? To, no, it's not a quiz. You are going to present yourself traditionally and then casually and above or a simple student. That is what's going to happen tomorrow. Tomorrow. Exactly. Amazing. And then. What do you hope to achieve over there? <laughs> Nothing but the best. The best. Exactly. You don't want to win, but you want the best. The best. Because somebody in, is I'm looking out for yes. excellence. Excellence yes. over there, but you want the best. You want the best. The best. Only the best. Only the, somebody the best, wants excellence. The best should win. The best should win. <laughs> Is this a school that you are proud of? 
I'm very much proud of my school. Did you choose this school? Yes, I chose this school. Have you had friends who have been uh, past, like past students of this school before? No, not at all. What did this you hear was, about? Uh -huh. yeah, this school was recommended to me by, by my own sister. Sister Jemima, shout out. Sir? <laughs> yeah, she introduced the school to me. And then she didn't lie to me though, but she just told me the exact truth. The school is nice, but there is a battle. And I was like, okay, fine, tell me what's the bat? I want to know. And she was like, if you are not an Ewe or a Dangbe, you can't easily live in this school. You can't easily be a border or something. And even in the locality. And I was like, why is that so? She was like, because we have the Dangbe and then the Ewe's here. It's simple. Any student that come around is either a Ewe or a Dangbe. Amazing. So you showed up here as King Kong to change the status quo. <laughs> Make sure yes. that they will put their N1 aside. Exactly. And then speak the English language so mm. that we all will be one. Besides, and even if we are supposed to talk about it, English runs through all the subjects. Even mathematics. If you don't understand what the English they write there, mm. you can't answer that question. Awesome. Especially word problems. And awesome. then almost, when you check the past question, Almost all the questions, every year, there is a word problem. So even if you can't even read and understand the instructions, mm. how are you going to answer the question? Awesome. So it's very much important. I'm inspired by a lot of things. Way back in my home, I mean way back in our homes, you don't get to see trees all around. You don't get to meet different kind of people who do different kind of things to you. You don't get to see new things. By here, I get to see a lot of things. I get to know people i got to even find out some dishes and like it's it's really nice in here awesome being in the Bota region it's it's not something you would you wouldn't like to be in like you wouldn't enjoy because it's very nice in here how is teaching and learning here like, Very nice. I bet you, you really? would love it. Eh. Is this a school you recommend for yeah, people I to get in Yeah, I recommend this school for other people because in here, you get more assistance than you want. Eh. Exactly. From who? From teachers. Okay, unlike other schools. I know my school is not that big, but if you go to other schools, teachers give out topics and other stuff. Brief on it leave give you pages to go and read but in here you have the opportunity to know more gain more information from teachers and then they after that they give you pages to go and read and then you are like they give you the chance any time at all if only they are on campus to ask any question you want to ask. amazing i like this girl she's very honest and she's very truthful because she has clearly spelled out what she doesn't like and she wants to make sure that she will alter it before she leaves this school. And she has also told, told you what is excellent about this school. The assistant is something that um, assistance, student-teacher relationship is exactly. something that you people don't it's joke over here. It's very, very effective here. Awesome. And you would love it in here. I wish you could be in the school for just a week. And then you just love it. Hey. We are going to have an exchange program here. <laughs> this girl, she is pulling me. We are going to have an exchange program here to see what really happens over here? Of course, here is Avey 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 Mebatos Senior High School Technical, Technical School. Yes, yeah, said so please it add it to it. Great Abbas. Great Abbas. We are the greatest. Awesome. She saw a challenge and she wants to come all out and then meet it. And that is basically this. This is supposed to be the mindset of the 21st century Ghanaian youth. Wherever you find yourself, there there, there is always a problem somewhere, and you must. Position yourself to always look out for a solution to some of these things. I am really looking forward that she will be crowned the queen and then see if her vision will come to fruition. And if you win, what are you going to do? What is the cardinal thing you will do? The first thing I will do when I win is to hold up a program I and mean, we hold up a group where we'll be able to express ourselves easily and then we'll be able to get information and assistance from people. 
I mean, I'm basically talking about networking. Networking. Exactly. You want the student to learn how to network. Yes. Networking, that's something very important because networking will actually get you a job faster than your degree, wherever you are in this world. Network. Exactly. It's something you cannot downplay. So I really like the, the, you see, she came to this school not only for the academic excellence, to get the A's and go. She also have an agenda. And especially, I don't know if that was birth when she got in here. But she realized that people speak the local language a lot and she thinks it's not cool and she has to find a way. And you said people, some have changed. So it means yes. it's something that you've started. It's something we've started for some time now and it's improving. Because a lot of, a lot of students are eager to learn more, to use vocabs. But like everyone is speaking the local language. How do I even try to learn it and then speak it? Awesome. Maybe they won't even understand. But now, since it's something we are all doing, you, I'm eager to know, I'm eager to learn from you. Mm. I'm eager to hear a word, mm. I mean, a vocab, that I'll go back to my dictionary, find them, and I'll also use it. It's in this school, so if you come around and you lose God, you, like, you'll be seen as nothing in the classroom, because everyone wants to learn something. So that immediately in, the, teacher, in this school? Exactly. So, what if you don't win the competition? What will you do? If I don't win the competition, doesn't mean I must stop what I'm doing. Besides, I started it when I was in Form 1. So how much more being in Form 2 and I lose the competition? It's just a competition. I will only have to help the winner. Besides, it's not one person's job. And even if I win, I'm still going to need the assistance. So I'm just going to help them. It's not easy talking to students, I mm. mean teens. They're not going to listen to one person unless about two, three, four, we try to sit them down and just try to give them some words of advice. If I win, fine. If I don't win, it's a competition. It's a lose or a win game. Contestant number four. Contestant number four. Second runner-up obtaining a vote of 609. The Queen of Abba, a Royal Majesty, the second runner up, to be crowned today, 8th day of July 2023. The first runner up <laughs> from SRC Week, Abilian Abbas Contest, obtained a vote of 60, 644. The Big Mama and Dice.
Great Abbas, contestant number one. <laughs>